Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at a Mac application called Presentify. So here it is up here in the menu bar, and I've got it running now. And this is a very light application. It does not take a lot of resources. The whole point of this is to be able to annotate on your screen if you're presenting for a class or maybe a Zoom session, something like that. So let's go ahead and click annotate screen here and you'll see this bar pops up. So this bar is pretty much your command and control center. You can move it around. I'm gonna put it over here and you can put it anywhere you want on the screen. And this allows you to pick your color. And then this button here actually does a random color. So the way I've got it set up right now to do circles, uh, if I just wait a couple of seconds, it looks like it's time-based, it will pick a new color. So if I do them really quick, they're similar colors. But yeah, it's pretty cool. If I just hit the delete key on my keyboard, they all go away. Or if I do multiples, I can just press command Z and it will undo one of them. Then over here, I've got the squiggly line. So if I just wanted to freehand draw something, let's go back to a solid color here. Let's just say green. Maybe I wanted to circle something, point something out. Uh, I could do that there. Also, I've got an arrow. So if I choose that, I can quickly point to something. So if I'm in the middle of a PowerPoint presentation or showing a website like this one, and I wanted to say, hey guys, check out uh, iOS 15.4 features here. Uh, I can put an arrow just like that. Then we've got rectangles, which you guys can figure out what that's for, circles. Of course, same thing. Text, just click anywhere and you can add text. So if I say, hi, hi, this is a test. Anywhere you click, you can add text. And it's super quick. There's no you know, going back and moving it. Uh, you can just delete it if you want, but that is the text button. And then you have the erase button, which erases everything real quick. Since I've got text, you guys can see the little T. I can click anywhere and it will add the new text in whatever color I choose. So those are the main features of this program. It's super basic, but it also really gets the job done in an easy and unobtrusive way. It really just creates a drawing layer on top of anything. So if I go back over here, I can hide annotate controls if I didn't wanna see that, but I still wanted to be able to draw. I can hide the controls, but I'm gonna show them for this. I can stop annotating the screen at any time if I need to move on. If I press the slash key, I can see the shortcuts, which as you guys can see right here, gives you a lot more. You can increase or decrease the line weight, get a highlighter, whiteboard, you got tons of different things to do here. So if you're a power user, you'll probably be using these all the time. But just for fun, let's do the decrease and increase line weight. So if I go back up here and I annotate screen, I start drawing like this. If I press the bracket key, it's going to make it thicker and thicker and thicker. I wonder if I can do it while I'm, no. So I have to actually let go. So if I let go and then I go down, it's gonna make it even smaller. So the two bracket keys go up and down for the line weight. I was just testing to see if you could keep holding it and press the, the bracket key to make it bigger or smaller. It does not work like that. It only applies after you let go. Let's quickly show something I didn't show before. Let's choose green and let's press H for highlighter. And as you guys can see, I can highlight something, um, but it's not going to totally block it out when I draw over it. I'm gonna bring the line weight down slightly here and just see, yeah, that's much better. And it does stack. So if you really wanted to uh, block something out, you could keep drawing on top of it. Uh, if you really wanted to emphasize something, but that is the highlighter and it works for any color, blue, green, and pink. And then if you wanted to highlight the cursor, so let's just say uh, you're in a class and you need people to look at the cursor, you can just choose that option and there you go. Everyone will be able to know where your cursor is at all times. And let's go to preferences. So we're gonna take a look at the preferences. There's not a whole lot in here. Uh, start app at login. That's more for if you're maybe on a school computer or something. Show tooltip when app starts and highlight cursor at app launch. So those are just the defaults. You can change them if you want, um, but it will save those in the preferences. Annotate, you got your three favorite colors, but you can choose any three you want. So those three at the top that you saw, you can change whichever you want. You can set the weight of your annotations right here and the whiteboard color can be anything you like as well. You got erase annotations and then there's obviously a delay that you can choose from zero seconds to 10 seconds right there. Save them across sessions, cursor here. So as you guys could see, that one kind of had a pinkish red. So you can change what color that is. Maybe you want like a yellow or something, something brighter. You can do that as well. So there's a lot of different things you can do here. It's a very robust application, but it's so easy and anyone can use this. I mean, you could pick this up in probably 10 minutes and go through this and be ready to go. I know there's some Mac apps that you just have to learn and learn and it takes days to really understand and use it proficiently. This one, anyone can pick it up and use it. You can even set keyboard shortcuts. So once you're an advanced user, you can change these up if you don't like what they are by default. This app is just one of a kind and it does its job really well. And that's what I like to see. There's no extra clutter. It just does what it's supposed to. So that's pretty much it for this application, guys. Check it out. Maybe you're in school. Maybe you do presentations for business meetings, anything like that. This could be useful. I'll drop a link to it down below if you want to check it out and see the current price, but it's reasonably priced. Typically for paid apps, I don't like seeing a tip jar and stuff like that. Uh, in the app because it just kind of seems weird. But overall, this app is solid. Check it out. Links down below.
If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.